guys, Jelly here, welcome back, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple maze game where you cannot walk through walls, and when you reach your objective, you will be able to start the next level. The other good thing about this script is that the background can be the same color, so if you want to have a hidden maze, so then you have to guess your way through it, you can do that with this script. So guys, that's it for the showcase. Let's get right into it. Now, the two things I have here are the set size to 1000 and the set speed to 4. These don't really do anything except for make everything the right size, put in everything into the right position. Um, I'm gonna add a go to zero zero actually in it as well. So that way you will always start in the same position. Now we're gonna have a forever and four if blocks. Okay, so in these if blocks, we're gonna have if key, and then I'm gonna do right arrow. Oh my god. We're gonna have right arrow. Let me just duplicate these now. Left arrow. Up arrow. Down arrow. Now, for the key right arrow pressed, we're going to have change X by whatever you want. And in the left arrow, we're going to have change X by the negative amount of the right arrow. For the up and down arrows, we're going to have change Y by whatever, and for the down arrow, we're going to have change Y by negative of the up arrow. So in my case, I have a variable set up for this, so if key right arrow pressed, then change X by speed, and then to get it the negative, we're just going to add a negative 1 times speed. So let's just duplicate these and put them into it. So now that is our simple movement script done. We're gonna move left, right, down, up, except the only problem with this is we can go straight through the walls. Now, what we're gonna do to fix this is just make a duplicate of each one of these. And there we go. Just so I can simply drag them in later. Now we're gonna have if touching and then the name of the sprite. So I forgot to mention how you're gonna set this up. You're gonna set it up with stage, whatever color you want, and your sprite. Just make sure he's small enough to fit through all the holes in your maze. And then the third or the second sprite, I don't know why it's sprite three for me, it just is. You're going to have it's um you're going to have it set to a maze, whatever maze you want it to be doesn't matter just make a maze on it with um, walls and an objective the color of the walls don't matter it can be any color you want as long as the objective is not used in the color of the walls you're fine um, now back to the scripts we're going to duplicate this touching sprite 3 if block and now that that's done we're just going to have this set to change y by the opposite, or change y and change x by the opposite of what it was. So for right arrow, it's change x by speed, and then if it hits the wall, we want it to go backwards. So we're going to have change x by negative one times speed, which will mean that we cannot go through the walls. Now, this is your simple movement script done. You will not be able to go up through walls, you will not be able to go down through walls, left through walls, or right through walls. Now, this is all good, but let me just speed this up real quick. When you get to the objective, you cannot go onto it because it is the sprite. It is part of sprite 3. One way to get around this is we're going to add an and not touching color and then the color of the objective for my case it's green 
Now we're gonna add a touching sprite into this. Now we're just gonna remove all these. And we're gonna duplicate this four times. So, the thing is, for the second if, everything, or the conditions are the same, but the actual thing that happens will be different for each one. So now you'll notice when I reset this, that, let me just speed this up. We can now go on to the objective, except once we're on the objective, we can go through it. So all you have to do is just have the objective stop the character from moving. Uh, either completely or you just can't go into the walls. Now this is a simple movement script where you can not go up and down and stuff like that. And the background can be whatever color you want it to be. For example, it's black and I cannot go through the walls still, even though they're the same color. Um, Although, I forgot to add one last thing in, and it is if touching color green, go. I love scratch lagging. Go to zero, zero. So now, when I go in, I can touch this and I will just go straight back to the center where I started. That's it for this video guys, uh, if you enjoyed please leave a like and subscribe. This next clip is just me showing you guys that it can be used for any other maze no matter what color the background is.